I bought these clamps in Homebase, which is a big DIY store in the UK. They were two for six pounds, which I thought was actually pretty good. They're 600 mil long, and they're just basic ratcheting clamps. You can reverse them and use them as spreaders as well, but they come in quite handy, but they're not quite long enough for a few things that I've wanted to use them for, where I want to clamp stuff. It doesn't have to be that heavy duty. I don't want to break out my enormous sash clamps. And also buying more sash clamps and things like that is quite expensive. So I thought I'd see if I could find a way of lengthening these clamps for quite a cheap price. Take the clamps apart, or at least turn them into a, uh, a spreader. You just undo this little plastic nut. It unscrews, I think it's an M4 size, it might be M6. It just comes off. The actual uh, ratcheting piece doesn't come off because of these little uh, kind of lugs at the end that stop it. So I'm going to um, <coughs> I'm going to take the lugs out by just bashing them through with a hammer and take a bit more closer look at this bar that's inside them. This is the bar that the clamps run along. It feels like steel. It's got two five mil holes in each end. One for the nut that I just undid to go through and one is where the little lug was that I've just hammered out. This is the other end and I've still got the lug in it. So the bar itself is about 5mm thick and about 13mm wide. So I'm going to look on eBay and see if I can find any steel bar to basically match the dimensions of this but a bit longer. So I went on eBay and I got delivered some of this mild steel flat bar that was in exactly the right dimensions I wanted. It was quite cheap, it was £18 for six lengths. It wasn't in the greatest state being mild steel so I've just taken my angle grinder to it with a, a low grit, I think it was a 60 grit disc just to grind it down just to give it a bit of a better finish, take off any of the burrs on the edges. So this bar is 1.2 metres so it's twice the length of the existing bar. So I'm going to see about making it fit the clamps, so I've effectively doubled the length of the clamps that I can use. So this is the bar I've bought and this is the existing bar from the clamps. As you can see I'm going to need to drill two 5mm holes in each end. I'm going to use the existing bar as a template and use my drill press to drill the holes, so hopefully it shouldn't be that difficult. starting off with a pilot bit that's just a two and a half mil so I'm going to drill that through and then use the five mil bit so now I've got the five mil bit in There are the holes that I've just drilled. There's a bit of a burr on the back, I'll just remove that with a file. So this is the new piece of bar that I've drilled and one end of the clamp. 
I'll put it over into the second hole. And that's locked on. And now I've got the main ratcheting piece. I'll push that over the top. Ratchet it closed. And that's a nice snug fit. And seems to work. Slide it all the way down. And there you go. longer clamp to stop the ratchet piece easily coming off the end I've got a M5 hex bolt with a nut on it that I'm going to put through and then just put two more nuts on the other side just to stop it coming off. So that's the build complete. I have to say I'm actually really pleased with how these clamps have come out. They still slide really, really nicely on the steel. The little bolt that I put in at the end is stopping it coming off. I'm going to give it a bit of a coat of paint with some just black matte paint to stop it rusting just to make it look a bit better as well but it, it's still working fine without it at the minute. It's probably given me about another 45 centimetres which I think is about a foot and a half so good amount of extension on the clamps. I think the key is that I managed to find the right size of, of steel on eBay Bearing in mind that eBay seems to sell pretty much anything and most sizes of flat bar steel seem to be available. I think if you're looking to do this yourself, even if your clamps aren't this sort of size in terms of the, the steel, um, you should be able to find what you need. If you're interested in any of my other videos, I'll put some links up so you can see those. And if you're not a subscriber already, please feel free to subscribe. I'm raising money for a charity this year and if you're interested in that I'll put some links up, some information, hopefully see you again soon.